Well, good morning, everybody and or anybody. This is Christian with Make Time for Fishing. I am back out on Breach Inlet. It is about an hour and a half until low tide. Tide's falling pretty quickly right now. A little bit of a breeze, but overcast, really perfect conditions today. Uh, I'm trying out some new jigs from Bel Air Jigs today, um, primarily. Uh, however, if the bite's slow, I will end up switching uh, to some live bait. I've got some mullet. The main one I'm really interested in getting to break in today are these half ounce swim bait jigs they sent me. It's a different uh, mold than the ones they've sent me in the past. And this one's really hyper realistic. Uh, I think paired up with a five inch paddle tail, it's gonna look very realistic as a finger mullet imitation. So that's really what I'm gonna try to do. I'm in a deeper portion than I normally am able to fish with the uh, you know quarter, three eighth ounce jigs. So I'm gonna throw them upstream, jig them off the bottom on the way back, see if I can pick up some big reds, trout or flounder. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that for a while. I'll move around a bit, mainly fishing the deeper portions. Then I'll fish the oyster beds when the tide gets a little bit lower. And then uh, if nothing's happening for me, I'll switch to some bait. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching, bye. So, first bait up is that half ounce Bel Air jig, swim bait jig. It's green with yellow eyes. The thing looks really realistic. It's gonna sink like a rock too in this current. Uh, paired up with a five inch paddlers from z-man and the color is bad shad or something like that and i'm gonna let it hit the bottom and just kind of work it back like this what i like about these heavier jigs it is way more obvious when you actually hit the bottom the lighter jigs sometimes especially if there's a strong current you're not exactly sure if you're on the bottom you're kind of assuming this half ounce oh i just got nailed <laughs> Nice. This looks like a trout. He hammered it. That might be a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. That was a bad net job. He's got it hanging out of his mouth right there. Let's just double check. Yeah, he's 15, but a little smaller than I wanted to keep today. Alright buddy. Now if I get one of your 17, 18 inch plus friends, mm. he's coming home with me. It's been about 20 minutes or so since that uh, trout. I've been hit a lot of times, but I haven't hooked up. So I am going to freeline a uh, mullet head off this oyster bar over to my right while I'm throwing paddle tails up current on the left. That's a good one. Well, that came out of nowhere, huh? Don't go in that anchor. Don't. Oh, that's a good one. Nice upper slot, probably. Let's have a look, see this guy. Let's hold him up, get a look. Yeah, he's probably 21, 22 or so. Really pretty fish. Picture perfect. Uh, yeah, 21 and a half. All right, well, I have a ton of redfish in uh, the fridge at home right now. So I'll probably just let him go. Um, if I get a flounder or a trout that's worth keeping, I'll keep him. But that guy gets to fight another day. Another one on. Doesn't seem real big yet. Oh, he's not bad though. Nice little uh, lower slot, probably 18 incher. There we go. He's gone and I've still got this bait. <laughs> oh, okay, well, got another guy on. Yeah. 
Well, this is some quick action right here, huh? Can't ask for much more than this. Besides maybe some more size. Now nah, that's a cool looking one. Look at those spots. Wow. All right, see you, buddy. All right, same bait. Going out for, it's already caught two fish. See if we can get a third. I think there's dolphins near me. I'm hearing them. Oh. This is a better one. Uh, maybe not. We might have just started hard. This is like the fifth fish on this same little chunk of mullet. Hey, she's still a puppy. Alright, see ya buddy. Also, somebody already has it. Seems like. These puppies are just hungry today. Oh, that's a pretty one. Actually, this is another, this is a keeper. He's probably 17, maybe 18 inches. All right, there he goes. I love, love using this free line rig for redfish around these oysters. It's just so effective. All right, I've been out here for about two hours and I'm officially, officially switching to all bait. Putting a big live one on a Carolina rig, hoping to find a monster. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the camera off to save battery until I get a bite. This guy ate a big, big live mullet. I'm talking it was five, six inch mullet. You might be able to see it in his mouth here. Oh, that's a good one. It's about dead low tide right now. So nine, or sorry, 11 a.m. That's solid fish right there. He is so golden. Came right out. Get a quick measurement on him. Ooh, he's fat. He might be 23. 22 and a quarter. All right, let's get this guy back. All right, my uh, camera wasn't on for some reason, but I uh, got another drum on a live mullet. This guy was a little bit ambitious. He's not really that big compared to the mullet he managed. Come here. Mullet's still alive though, he's going back out in a second. Alright, see ya. All right, let's get this live mullet back out. This feels like a good drum right now. Pretty heavy. This is on a little cut piece. Gosh. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, he's not even, he's not huge. Man, he's taking me for a ride though. This guy is fighting really hard. Nice. He had another one of my baits. <laughs> That's the size of the bait he hit right there. Really tiny. He's only probably 21 inches again, but he fought super hard. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> 21 inches. Just got picked up again by what feels like a puppy drum about 10 seconds after I threw it out. Oh, it's a weak fish. 
That's strange. I don't think I've ever caught a weak fish on cut bait. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, for the second trip in a row, things did not go as I had anticipated. Um, I did actually have a good day of red fishing uh, on live and cut bait, free lining, Carolina rigs, that kind of deal around oyster bars. But I was really trying to break in those Bel Air jigs a little more. Um, I did get that one trout pretty quickly, but just didn't see there's so much bait around it's hard to get artificials to work right now and with limited time out here uh, i only had a few hours i wanted to make sure i could get some fish in the boat um, have some fun before uh, i had to get out so live baits usually the move for that kind of thing uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching uh, and let me know down below uh, what you think what you'd like to see me do next if you enjoyed watching this video please like it and subscribe consider hitting the notifications bell as well that way you know when i put out a new video uh, every monday and friday but anyway stay tuned for more and uh, thank you guys for watching again have a good day bye